Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on sequences. Sequences involve lists of numbers that have a pattern. When a pattern exists, we can find out any term in the sequence because we can use the pattern to help us. Examples of simple sequences. A very simple sequence with a basic pattern is the set of counting numbers that we saw in an earlier video. And here they are. And they continue on. The pattern is basic because we just add the number 1 to find the next term. Consider the following simple sequence. Have you seen the above set of numbers before? They are the even numbers. And I talked about these in an earlier video. What about this sequence? They are the set of odd numbers. And I also talked about them in an earlier video. When you see little dots like that, that just means they continue on. In the next few slides, we will introduce other sequences where we have to look closely to find the pattern. Now the patterns in these three sequences are very basic. You just keep adding one to each number. Here you add two to each number. And here you add two to each number. Notice we start at a different place for the even numbers and for the odd numbers, but the pattern is the same. You keep adding two for each sequence. More sequences. Sequences can progress forward or backward. The main idea is the same. Try and recognize a pattern that would help you find the next term. Number one, we have this sequence here. The sequence represents the three times tables starting at three times one equals three. Can we find the next number after 18? Yes, the pattern is as follows. The first term, three ones are three. Second term, three twos are six. Third term, three threes are nine. Three fours are 12, three fives are 15, three sixes are 18. And the seventh term is three sevens are 21. So here we have 21. Question 2, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, etc. This pattern is the 5 times stables starting at 5 times 3 equals 15. So the next term is 5 times 9 equals 45. Of course that's 5 3s, 5 4s, 5 5s, 5 6s, 5 7s, 5 8s and that's 5 times 9. Now here are some exercises for you. There are four questions and the answers are on the next slide. So if you want to pause this video now, you can answer these questions at your leisure. Take as long as you want. But I will move on now and I will provide the answers for you on the next slide. So here's your chance to pause the video. Okay, for the first question, the description of the pattern, starting at 11, add 3 to the next number. So when you've started 11, just keep adding 3. So the next term is 26, because 23 plus 3 is 26. Question 2, description of the pattern, starting at 21, add 5 to the next number. So the next term is 46, because 41 plus 5 is 46. Number 3. The description of the pattern, starting at 23, add 7 to the next number. So the next term is 58, because 51 plus 7 is 58. And finally, the description of the pattern, starting at 20, add 30 to the next number. So the next term is 170, because 140 plus 30 is 170. So this has been a basic introduction to patterns where we have to find the pattern by looking very closely at the sequence. I hope you enjoyed that. And the more you practice this type of uh, work, the better you'll become. You'll become really, really good at recognising the patterns.